All right, so I wanted to test my bed leveling. This is the first time I did it. <clears throat> so I found this bed leveling test on Thingiverse, and this was for a different uh, printer. So I brought it over into Tinkercad, which is an online CAD software, 3D CAD software. That it looks like it's associated with Adobe. Uh, so it all works in the cloud. It's kind of interesting to work with, but I was able to figure out how to get it on there, and I rescaled it for the bed of the Dreamer NX, which is uh, 230 by 150 millimeters. All right, to get it working with the printer, you need to create a GX file. You can create a G-code file, which I tried using Slicer, S-L-I-C-3-R. Then I found out about Flash Print, which comes from Flash Forge, and knows, knows about my printer, knows the size, knows everything. So you can import your STL file to this, which is what I did, and then pr click the Print button, and it will create, you can set what, what uh, material type you're having, other things like that. And it creates a, a GX file, which I already did, so. So it's this one, I'm gonna use this one right here, bed test level. So it's using PLA, which is what I have loaded in the machine right now. So I already saved this, so I'm not gonna save it again. So we'll go ahead and load that file using a flash SD card, and we'll see what happens. All right, here we are at the printer. I've got the SD card plugged in, so we're gonna go print. SD card, 3D print files, testing, bed leveling. This one, PLA. Then we're going to say print, five minute print time, looks like. So, we'll back up, Let's see what it's doing. File open failed. Hmm. I'm having trouble opening that file for some reason, so we're going to try using the uh, included USB cable. USB type B. So that's hooked up to the laptop. And then we're going to send send the G code to the printer. I don't know why it's showing up twice, but oh, looks like it's working. Not sure why I couldn't open that file, but looks like it's so it liked talking directly to the printer, so see what happens. All right, so the Platform is heating up, and then the extruder heats up. So we'll just pause here for a second and come back. Okay, the bed's heated up to 50C, which is what this printer seems to like for PLA, and now it's heating up the extruder. It doesn't take as long. All right, this printer likes 200C for PLA, so it's just about up to that now. And that's going to start coming up. Printing the test pattern. So it's got five 20 millimeter squares, one in the middle and one in each of the four corners, and then uh, lines connecting them. So we're going to pause here and let it do its business and come back when it's done. Yeah, it's just about done. Let's see how we did. Alright, well the left side looks pretty good. There's a few little blobs. But the right side looks like it's uh, too low. See this one? This rectangle didn't really print very well. And this line didn't go, and this one's got problems too, so... Compare that rectangle to this one. Uh, the one in the middle's got a blob. Oops. 
Well, the middle's got a blob from the start of the print. So, we need to raise the right side a little bit. And we'll try it again. Let's see how we did. Well, the back looks pretty good. But the front, particularly this one, is messed up. So, we need to... I'm going to try lowering the front and see what happens. I may have it too high, so let's try that just for fun, and then we'll uh, take it from there. Alright, I actually ended up moving, <coughs> moving the front of the bed up a little bit, and this side printed really well. This one has a little bit of a problem. Not sure if I want to deal with that. Um, I think I'm going to call it good for now. All right, well, I wasn't satisfied with that last test, so I did tweaked it some more. And you can see that all the squares, rectangles rather, are nice and clean. This one's got a little bit of, um, a little bit of hatching, but it's very close to the other ones. What I found was I had to put a lot of, I had to have, not a slight amount of friction when I'm leveling it using the leveling tool, which I'll show you in a second. I had to have quite a bit of friction to get the first <coughs> thin line to lay down properly onto the bed, so I'll show you that in a second. I'm going to show you how you get this <coughs> test print off. Combination using these tweezers that comes with the kit. <laughs> tweezers won't work on it right away. And the spatula that comes with the kit. The spatula works pretty well. You can get the get it up off the bed, and then you can use the tweezers to pull it up. So if we can get one of the corners of the of these rectangles up, then the tweezers can take it from there. Just like that. All right, I'm going to show you how much friction I needed to get it to print properly when doing the leveling. So first you select tools, then leveling. And I found it better to put the put the card. This is the this is the standard card. This is the standard card that comes with it for leveling, for setting the gap. I found it better to put it in the location that it has to go to. So it goes in the first position, and it's kind of probably hard to see, but this is more than just a little bit of friction. Like it's a slight friction. And to me, and I tried slight friction, but then when it was laying down those thin lines on the test pattern, it, it wasn't doing it properly. So then you go to the next one. Let's put it under there. So it's probably hard to see how hard I'm pulling that, but... Alright, anyway, so I'm, I'm happy with the leveling. So that's it for the leveling test. I'm all done with that.